We're trying to rely more on sustainable energy sources like wind and solar energy. And um, these are intermittent. It means that they generate power at times where it might not be needed and they might not generate sufficient power at times of high demand. Meaning that, for example, imagine a city like Berlin or Paris. People wake up in the morning at 6 a.m. after a couple of days with a little wind and maybe a cloudy day. And still there needs to be some massive battery system providing power for that. And that's why we're talking about large scale or long duration energy storage, which really requires a novel type of battery technology, which is simply not there yet. So I decided to start a company and build a new type of flow battery that takes advantage of cool things happening at liquid liquid interfaces. We are going to exploit organic sustainable chemistry for membraneless redox flow batteries. And this is the main challenge which we are right now tackling. The battery would be made of two immiscible uh, liquids, one that represented uh, here like water and, uh, and oil. And these two liquids don't uh, mix with each other. And that's the key intuition be uh, behind the uh, um, redox flow battery. Now we can remove the typical membrane and we can uh, reshape the interface between the two liquids and that's where the magic happens. We're developing a type of battery that's very scalable. Because of our um, physics inside the cell, not having a membrane, we're able to do that cheaper and more efficiently than other flow battery systems. Current flow battery technology relies on vanadium, which is still material that's mined and which is scarce and expensive. So we think it has quite some negative impact on the environment still. That's why we rely on materials which can produce, be produced in every country that's actually using our system and which are also fully recyclable. From a technological point of view, when talking to established flow battery companies, for example, we experience that there's still a lot of skepticism how this can work and how it can scale. And we think the current situation that there is this huge technology gap. Uh, we need some way to store energy, but no one knows how. Shows that um, the conventional way of approaching things doesn't really um, help us in providing the solutions we need. So I think being a little crazy and trying radically new stuff and building a battery a way that it's never been built before is um, just the right way to go about it, yeah.